Hello, I'm David Cavallio, the Chief Executive Officer of the Australian Curriculum Assessment and Reporting Authority. And I'm here with Janet Davey, our Director of Curriculum, to talk to you about the review of the Australian Curriculum that is currently underway. The Australian Curriculum was first reviewed in 2014, and it was agreed by Ministers that ACARA should review it every six years. And so as a result, uh, Ministers have agreed that we undertake that review and that uh, we've been working very hard since then uh, to put in place a whole range of consultative processes to ensure that we have a curriculum that is ready to go at the start of 2022. So the review aims to improve the Australian curriculum by refining, updating and decluttering across all eight learning areas. So Janet, can you tell us a little bit how we're going about this process? Thanks David. So in particular, we're looking at trying to refine and reduce the amount of content wherever we can, and that's especially in the primary years. We're also looking to improve the quality of the content descriptions and the achievement standards, and to better integrate the general capabilities and cross-curriculum priorities into the learning area content. At the same time, we're redesigning the Australian Curriculum website. The new website will present the curriculum in a much more user-friendly format, and it will show the key connections across the elements of the Australian Curriculum. We hope the new website will be a much more helpful and intuitive website for teachers to use. The main message we're hearing from teachers is to make the curriculum clearer. It's not just about reducing the content, it's about making it more consistent and coherent across the learning areas and the years, particularly for those primary teachers. To reduce the ambiguity, to reduce the uncertainty in how we write the curriculum and to make it really clear particularly in the content descriptions and achievement standards about what it is we want teachers to teach and what it is we want students to learn. Another aspect of decluttering is to look at ways that we can improve the relationships between the three dimensions of the Australian curriculum. It's important to realise that the learning areas have primacy of place and the general capabilities and the cross-curriculum priorities are best taught and learnt through the teaching and learning of the learning areas. And it's also important to realise that not every cross-curriculum priority or general capability has to find a home in every learning area. Some are more appropriate than others for that purpose. So up until now, we've been working with over 360 teachers and curriculum experts from across the country in 18 new reference groups that we have established specifically for the review process. We've also been talking to national subject professional associations and our subject matter experts, as well as looking at the latest evidence, research and international curriculum developments. So as a result, we've now come up with our proposed revisions to the Australian curriculum, and we want to now put that out to public consultation and seek feedback until the 8th of July. So now it's over to you. We would like you to tell us your view about the proposed revisions. 